Hello friends, welcome to G-Centric. So in this lecture, we will solve the equivalent resistance pattern. So when resistors are given, so how we will we reduce it to equivalent resistance circuits. Okay, so we will see that. Now if you have to confirm if the given resistors are in series or parallel, then how will you decide it whether it's in series or parallel? It's by the current. Okay, if the current divides, then it means that they are in parallel. If the current is same in both the resistors, then we will say that the resistors are in series. Okay. So, whatever uh, to decide whether it is in parallel or series or neither there are even some pattern which are neither series nor parallel, we will see that later. Okay. So, to understand if it is in series or parallel, current will decide. Current is an important factor. So, now if you take the first one, first problem, we need to find the R equivalent at these two terminals. Okay. So, if we for uh, if we assume that current is flowing in that direction, then what will happen? Here it will get divided. Okay. Here some current will go, some current I1, here some current I2 will go. Okay. So, it means that they are not in series. Okay. But our aim is to not determine the current, we will only decide, we will only calculate what is R equivalent. Okay. Now, this current will flow here also. Now, if you see that it is the least resistive path, here two resistors are there, but what is the property of the current? It, may, it goes in the least resistive path, it does not flow in the resi more resistor path. Okay. So, whatever the current is flowing here, it will not divide here a whole of the current will go in this direction okay, and it will exit. So, that amount of current will leave the circuit. So, these two branches does not have any significance. Okay. So, now if these are the two points, if it is a short circuit path, we can club, club this two one, this is also same potential, this is also having same potential. If we club this one, so these two resistors will come in parallel, Okay. somewhat it looks like this. Okay, here this is one ohm and this is one ohm. Okay, this two it is club, club like this so that they come in parallel. So, what will be the R equivalent? They are in one, one ohm is in parallel with one ohm. So, what do you get? 1 by 2 ohms. Okay, so coming to the second problem. Now, if we start from here, they have asked us to calculate the R equivalent at this point. So, if this is the current I flowing, there are three branches. Here some current will go, here some current will go and some current will go in that branch. So now again that much amount of current should leave the circuit. So now coming here you will see, you, you will assume that it is a short circuit path. So it will take the current, whole of the current will flow from this, this path. But if you observe the circuit in this path also there is some amount of current flowing here. So, when some amount of current is flowing then again it will divide in this way. Okay. So, what will happen is that for each of the resistors the current will flow. Each resistor has got its current. So, when, when no current will pass through this short circuit path. So, at that time what we call this wire is dummy wire. So, this wire is called as dummy wire, no current passes through that path. Okay. That is because it has to leave the same amount of current when it has entered the same amount of current in the circuit. Okay. So, now when this is dummy, okay, we can again it has got the same potential, we can club this one. Okay. These two can be clubbed and these two will be clubbed and they will come in parallel. So, if I redraw it here, okay, this is one ohm of this one. And this will come in parallel with this circuit. This is also 1 ohm. Similarly, this also it is 1 ohm. And this resistor will come in parallel with this one. It is 1 ohm. And rest of the circuit is this is 1 ohm. Okay. So, now we have to find the R equivalent over here. Now, these, are, these two are in parallel, these two are in parallel. So, when you solve this, you will get 1 by 2, 1 by 2 plus 1. So, these two will become in series. So, it is 1 by 2 plus 1 series parallel with again 1 by 2 ohms. So, what we will get at when you solve this one? It will be 3 by 8 ohms. 
okay so there is difference between this circuit and this circuit that is because somewhere the current is being injected and that um, that current is pro, uh, give gives the current for all the resistor okay here there is no again division of current so it will take this short circuit path coming to the third question now if you see that we have to find the r equivalent at this point now again if we see the current here i so some amount of current will go here some amount of current will go here and that here also the current won't flow in this direction it will not choose the resistive uh, least resistive path that is because it has to give the same amount of the current how much ever it has entered it must leave so even here also there will be some amount of current flowing so all the resistors will have currents now again this will become dummy wire so when it has become dummy wire it can be clubbed so it has same potential and it has also same potential so when we club this one we get somewhat in this pattern okay this is the resistor now which uh, this is nothing but 2 ohm 2 ohm so 2 ohm 2 ohm 4 ohm and 1 ohm so again these two are in parallel these two are in parallel and they will be in series so the answer that you get is 9 by 9 by 5 ohm so when you solve this one you will get 9 by 5 now here also you should take care of this point suppose if you if you draw this circuit like this and connect it by a line then the answer will be wrong so you should not use this pattern okay we'll see what will happen when such lines come here okay so since it is a common point you will have to assume it as a single node okay now coming to the fourth question again they have asked us to calculate the r equivalent okay so this r equivalent here if the current is entering in this direction then here it has to divide here 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 but what it will give it will it has got the return path so all the current will go in this direction and exit at this point okay so these four 2 1 and 3 ohm resistors does not have any significance it will be zero ampere current so r equivalent here is zero ohms okay so coming to the fifth question now this type of question we have already seen just the pattern is different okay they have asked us to calculate the resistance equivalent resistance between the points a and b okay so when this they have asked like this so what we can do is we can take this two terminals outside and bring this same potential points inside okay there won't be any change in the circuit or any type of values will not be changed so if we will redraw this circuit this is 4 ohm resistor then this is point a okay then here again we have got 2 ohm resistor here also some 2 ohm resistor and here it is 1 ohm resistor now getting this two points inside just drawing the line and this is point b so we need to find the r equivalent between these two points so now if you see if you inject the current at this point there will be division of current here and here now also if you observe that it will not take the resistive path okay this least resistive path it don't take because the current must exit with the same value that it has entered okay so there will be some amount of current here so all the resistors will be counted now again we can club this one but this time the pattern will be little bit different so these two will be in parallel and these two will be parallel and after we solve the parallel they will be in series connection so we feel redraw this here also we have to take a single node so we need not need to draw the line like this it will not be the correct answer here if you take and solve it okay so this is 4 ohm this is 2 ohm 
this is 1 ohm and 2 ohm this is point a and this is point b so 4 and 2 in parallel 4 and 2 in parallel then 1 and 2 ohms in parallel okay so when you solve 4 into 2 is 8 8 by 6 and this will become in series so 1 2 2 upon 3 okay so when you solve this one you will get 2 ohms as the equivalent resistor re equivalent resistance value okay so next coming to the sixth question so if you see the sixth question it has got five resistors okay one two three four and five resistors so whenever you encounter with five resistor and if you find a zigzag pattern then in most of the cases the uh, it is the problem of wheatstone bridge so it is the problem of wheat stone bridge okay most of the cases it will be wheat stone bridge you can call, short form call it as wsb now we will rearrange this into a wheat stone bridge okay so they have already given points a and point b let us assume this c and d so if you have to redraw the circuit here is point a point b point c and point d so now in between point A to C we have got 12 ohm resistor okay this is 12 ohm then uh, in between A to D A to D we have 9 ohm resistor this is 9 ohm then in between B to D we have 3 ohm resistor so it is 3 ohm then in between C and D we have 2 ohm resistor so in between C and D, sorry, yeah, in between C and B we have 4 ohm resistor and in between C and D we have 2 ohm resistor. Okay. So now we need to find the resistor over there. So if we inject a current here, some amount of current will go here, some amount of current will go here. So what does this Wheatstone bridge say? What does it mean? If opposite the diagonal if there are resistors okay it their product must be equal so whenever their products will be equal if they have opposite the diagonal so this is 12 ohm and 3 ohm they are opposite to each other with respect to the diagonal and 9 ohm and 4 ohm are opposite to each other with respect to the diagonal so if their products are equal then wheatstone bridge property says that zero ampere current will flow through this diagonal okay so let us check if it is if they are equal so 12 into 3 equal to 9 into 4 so they come out to be 36 equal to 36 so when it satisfies this condition then 0 ampere current will flow in this one so when 0 ampere current is flowing so this will does not have any significance okay so now we can calculate the equivalent resistance okay so the galvanometer does not show any ref, uh, deflection that is zero deflection we will call it as null deflection so now we can see that this is this is in series with this one this is in series with this and they are in parallel with each other okay same condition again so uh, this is 12 plus 4 it is 16 so this is 16 ohm and here it is 9 plus 3 10 ohm okay so this is point a and this is point b 16 in parallel with 10 ohm so it's 160 upon 26 so when you solve it comes out to be 48 by 7 ohms okay so sorry 9 plus 3 it is 12 ohms okay so this is 12 ohms when you calculate 16 parallel with 12 so you will be getting 48 by 7 ohms so we will take one more problem based on this okay so this is the last question we will see in this topic so again if you see that there is inductor capacitor and 
four resistors. So now seeing this question, don't be afraid. It's very, it will be very easy. So now whenever you see five types of resistors, capacitors or inductors, we can apply Wheatstone bridge. Most of the cases it will be Wheatstone bridge. Now uh, as uh, as you have seen that resistor will be added in series and parallel we take if there are two resistors R1 into R2 by R1 plus R2. For capacitors it is opposite. Inductors also follows the same rule as resistors. If they are in series it will get added up. If they are in parallel again L1 L2 upon L1 plus L2. Whereas capacitor it is opposite. So it uh, if it is in uh, series connection we will uh, take the parallel operation of the resistors and inductors. If it is in parallel then we will add the C1 plus C2 plus C3 and so on. Okay, So, capacitor is opposite of inductor and resistors. Now, what is the concept of Wheatstone bridge? So, opposite the diagonal the resistors the product of the resistors must be equal. If they are equal then 0 ampere current will flow through this diagonal. So, let us check this one. So, 2 into 4 is equal to again 4 into 2. So, they comes out to be 8 equal to 8. It means that 0 ampere current will flow through the galvanometer and it shows null deflection. Okay. So, this resistor can be removed. Okay. We will remove this part. Now, these two are in series. So, it will come out to be 4, 4 ohm and these two are in series. It comes out to be 8 ohm. So, again if you combine them what will happen? They are in parallel. Okay, so, 4 into 8 is 30, 32 upon 16. So, you will be getting, so the RAB is equal to 8 upon 3 ohms. Okay, so, this is the solution for this question. So, in the next lecture, we will see few more based on this concept. Okay, thank you.